That's right. We're talking about a potential Katrina from outer space. Uh, Katrina caused about $100 billion in property damage. And unless we begin to make efforts now to reinforce our satellites and power grid, we could have something maybe 10 times bigger than Katrina because we're talking about the loss of all electricity and all satellite activity. We'd be thrown 100 years back into the... In 1859, we had a humongous storm that wiped out telegraph poles, and we tried to then estimate what kind of power could do that. And we now realize that we are very young in the space age. If something like the 1859 storm hit again, it would literally paralyze all the United States, not just for a day or an hour, but for months to years, a transformers would short circuit and burn out. Satellites would be fried to a crisp. And the sun, however, has these storms every 11 years. Every 11 years, the magnetic field flips. But in 2012, we do expect perhaps, perhaps another big one. Those blackouts only last for a few hours to a day. But if you start to short circuit all the transformers and blow out the satellites and fry the communications grid, then you're talking about knocking out uh, the United States uh, for months before we can get enough rescue crews and repairmen to handle not just one city, but hundreds of cities around the United States. I think with Katrina, you know, engineers knew that Katrina could happen, but they did nothing because they said that it's not going to happen while I'm around. Well, now we learned the lesson. You have to prepare for things, especially when you know that at some point, it's inevitable that we're going to have another big one, like we had back in 1859, except this time we're totally dependent on electricity.